So if you're anything like me, occasionally you'll find that some pieces that you do might finish before they're actually finished. So in this particular instance, for today's prompt, which is Glitz and Glamour, um, I decided that, well, I first of all, I had an idea in mind. I knew where I was going to go with it. I sketched it out before I started filming and I just followed the steps in my head out onto the paper. Um, the acrylic is Jane's acrylic. It's coloured highlight, which is my favourite skin tone that she has. Um, and yeah, it was just a very quick, very simple little piece. And it was only when I turned off the camera and walked away for the day and before I sat down to film this voiceover, it was a definitely, yep, it's done. But then I had a visit with my mum. And my mum came over today and we were talking and I showed her the pieces I'd already done. And she was said to me that maybe this particular piece could have a little bit more to it. Now, when my mum offers me suggestions they're not mandatory they're not a you really need to do this sort of stuff my mum offers me art advice it's a hmm well in this particular scenario this is what I would do but you don't have to do this at all and yeah there are times when my mum has said something and I'm like mm, you know I, I don't want to do that or I don't like that suggestion and she's taken that very very well I love my mum. She's she's really, really amazing. And this particular piece, it was it was missing something. And I didn't really see it at the time. But it wasn't until she pointed it out that it was like, oh, you know what? Yeah, she's right. She there is something missing. It's very plain. So I used Jane Silver to use the um, to go over the dress and because the dress was basically the focal point I wanted it to stand out I wanted it to pop but there's silver um, it's like a metallic sh silvery uh, watercolor in the background mixing with the blue and that was th it, the dress didn't really blend with the background but there was it was just too mm, it's really hard to word it but it just it didn't work properly so I decided and my mum suggested that a white gel pen and some detailing on the dress would really work and honest it did just sitting down and doing this just before the voiceover I mean I was like it, it needed something so I did it I went over the dress, put some little um, sort of some doodling, some little flowers and it really did make the entire piece just come together in a really nice way. And yeah, mum did suggest some other things that I didn't put on, um, which is okay. I mean, you know, you don't have to do what people say, it's art, It's there's no rules. But the things that she did suggest that I took on board worked so well and little doodling in and of itself is actually quite relaxing like just sitting here putting little dots in the shapes of flowers on the dress was really quite relaxing um, I wasn't particularly stressed at the time or anything like that but you know it was just fun and because the metallic paint is sort of silver, the white still pops on top of it. Now, I don't think I could have done this with Jane's paint over pens and got the same effect. I think the tips might be just that little bit too big. Um, but with this gel pen, oh, it worked so well. I, um, I have other gel pens, but I'm beginning to think this one might be becoming my favourite. It just really works. I barely have any problems with it and I didn't really want this to look like a wedding dress either and I don't think it comes across like that I think it does come across like 
old world Hollywood, like, you know, 1940s or even 1920s, but it's just, oh, so pretty. But, yeah. Now, the detailing, you won't be able to see at the end of the video, but there will be pictures on my Instagram that you can have a look at so you can get a better idea of how the detailing looks because this was a last minute <laughs> addition as you can see it's not there but I am adding the number so <laughs> the number to the page oh uh, dear but yeah I really liked this piece originally I thought it was finished and I liked it then but the little gel elements just really brought the whole thing together so yeah Oh, yeah the color the color from the sun was peeking through my window and I you it sort of changed the silver paint not that that's a bad thing but it just makes the last little bit of the video a little annoying but yeah other than that I had a really good time thank you for watching bye